this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a most wonderful day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. I don't know if y'all have heard of this young lady or not, but she has become a TikTok sensation talking about her marriage to what she calls a pathological liar. And as much as you wish she was making all that stuff up, you pretty much know that she's not. My sister told me about her and one night we just sat there and listened to, to just episode after episode of her adventures in marriage to this pathological liar. He fits the description of the saying that he'll tell a lie when the truth would sound better. That's the kind of person that she describes. And he doesn't just lie to her. He lies to everybody. Now the way she tells it is funny. It's hilarious. But it's also sad that a human being could be in that much trouble. That's what I told my sister. That guy is in trouble and he needs to get help. But she is airing all of her marriage linen out on social media. And it became such a sensation and people are so fascinated with her story that she's gone Hollywood. One of the big agencies in Hollywood is now offered to represent her. TikTok star Teresa Risa Johnson has signed with CAA for representation. The online blogger and writer is known for her 50-part Who the F Did I Marry TikTok series that has earned over 400 million impressions in under three weeks, making her an overnight success. The online videos, which debuted on TikTok on February 14th, recall her marriage to and split from who she claims is a pathological liar. Johnson also appeared on Good Morning America and The Tamron Hall Show and told NBC News, I already knew this story was not going to always make me look good at all. But I also felt like the story was bigger than me in a way. In other words, it was worth some embarrassment, but it was cathartic and it was also very emotional and very hard at times. A graduate of Kennesaw State University with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice, Johnson also works in law enforcement and is based in Atlanta. I am excited to join the CAA family in what has become an extraordinary and life-changing opportunity. I hope to bring this story and personal experiences to an even bigger platform with the hope of helping those in similar circumstances know that they are not alone, Johnson said in a statement. She continues to be represented by Clay Agency. Now, I know that a lot of people found what she says incredible and also funny, but I said, I don't even understand how you got in that deep with somebody when they started lying from the beginning. They enter lying. You can never verify anything he says, and even his kinfolk say he's a big liar. So, you know, how much evidence do you need to know that a person is a liar? and stay involved with them. That was what I was asking my sister. But the takeaway from this whole story for black women is to not get desperate for a man or for marriage. Take time and get to know a person. Marry in haste and you will reap at your leisure. And it's, it's going to be just as painful getting over a bad marriage as would be not to get married at all. So it really is important to take the time to get to know the character of a person before you marry them. 
And some people are saying that she's faking or she was just doing that for publicity and all of that. But I saw her on the Tamron Hall show and she seemed sincere to me. But it's a compelling story. If y'all are not familiar with it and would like to hear this captivating saga, go to the TikTok platform and search for Risa Tisa. Her name is Risa Tisa and there are other people giving responses to the videos. So they are interesting too. So anyway, I'm surprised to see that she's gone big time and hopefully it will help her and others to realize that you, are not, you really cannot change a liar. You cannot change a liar because they are unrepentant because many times people like this don't even realize they are lying. They walk in the door lying and they just keep on lying. They walk on out the door lying, in, to, in and out of relationships, lying. And even when they get caught, they just go on and tell another lie and move on with something else. Now, that's unusual. You know, we all know people that are lie. Most people will tell a lie once in a while. And many times people lie to keep from hurting other people's feelings or to cover up for something, explaining why you didn't show up for something or making excuses about why you didn't do anything. But you don't do just consistently lie to a partner about things that don't even matter or about things that do matter. Saying somebody's dead when they're not dead. That is detrimental to a relationship. Making a habit of just lying about things that are not even necessary. There's something wrong with a person like that. But anyway, it's compelling and it seems like she's going to hit the big time. So I'm going to be looking out for her because I would like to see how she will bring this to a bigger platform. Okay, y'all. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.